here sharing my journey I decided to go through the getting unstuck um, scratch campaign that they had earlier at the end of 2018 in which they had a bunch of projects for people to think about and in day one the task was right here to create a project that when two sprites collide one of them says excuse me and the other says certainly and so there are lots of different projects out there I tried to do this without any help in terms of I did not go to the studio to look at all the the projects. Uh, I try to see can I solve this on my own. These are the things that I want kids to be able to do. Uh, in a classroom I would allow students to use support but in this case I wanted to challenge myself. And so I think one of the things that I'll talk about through this video besides sharing what I created um, was this piece here um, to reflect on the creative process and what you learn from the project. And then um, I'll just put it in my notes of what I noticed about other people but I won't cover that in this video. So what I did was I made a, a little project with bacon and eggs, my two favorite foods that I eat every single morning um, in some shape or form. And I just tried to create it where when the bacon and the eggs collided, they would say those commands. And so I was excited for this with this kind of text-to-speech um, opportunities that they have. And so when this loads up here, what I ended up doing was this and this um, was good learning for me because I got to use some buttons and or some some code commands I have not used before which was exciting so I loaded up two sprites that I have either things that I um, were not in the scratch program there are just some pixel art that I have from some previous projects so I loaded those up in my sprite and then I went to upload and then I uploaded those sprites to the the screen here um, where I got the the eggs and then I got the bacon and then I just brought in a stock image of a frying pan um, for that now eventually I will code this where it doesn't actually leave the pan but for now it kind of goes all over the screen and what I did was for the egg uh, when the space bar is pressed here under my event tab to get that going I put a forever block in and then I have something just to get it going with an if statement in between. So I just have it moving two steps. If it hits the edge of the screen, it's going to bounce. And then I just put this block, which I kind of like, this uh, point towards. And I could make this whatever. Um, I could make it wherever my mouse pointer is, or I can make it another sprite. In this case, I have it aiming towards bacon. And then I kept this the set rotation style left to right so it wouldn't flip upside down when it bounces off the edge or the item. And then, as you can see here in my if block, if, and this is where the sensing block comes into play, which I really, really like these. Um, I threw this in. If it's touching the bacon, then I'm setting the voice. And there's different things that you can use. Alto, tenor, squeak, giant, kitten. Um, I just made it giant. And you could tell it what you want it to say. In this case, I have the bacon, or the, excuse me, the egg say, excuse me. And then it's going to a random part on the screen. And the same thing's going to happen. It's going to point towards the bacon and make its way there. Bacon's doing the exact same thing, um, but what it's doing here is in tenor saying certainly as the challenge was. And so as you see here when I go to run this now and I hit the space bar. Excuse me, certainly. Excuse me, certainly. Excuse me. Excuse me, certainly. And you can see that this is constantly going through that. So um, I want to clean this up, and I'm just going to try to continue to work on this myself in terms of making this pan bigger and keeping it within the pan so that it sees white, it's going to bounce back in at a different angle instead. Um, so um, I'm going to clean that up. I'll show you option two here later. But this is what I did for the Getting Unstuck Challenge. Now, the question that it asked was, um, reflecting the creative process. And one, I had to kind of think of a theme of how I wanted the objects to interact. I kind of wanted it to flow. And for me, my learning was just learning some of these new these new sensing blocks. I'm really starting to like those and understanding how to keep my sprites from flipping up and down. So um, if you made this project, I'd love to see, share, leave a comment to your project that you created. Um, what would you like to see next with this theme? Uh, I got the bacon and the eggs. I would love to turn it into a side scroller or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll make that work. But this is my getting unstuck day one exercise of getting sprites to communicate with one another 
when they run into each other. All right, guys, as always. Stay